Hello Taurus, how are you? Just getting ready to do your reading. Hope you're all doing very well. <coughs> Two shuffles. See what messages Spirit has for the sign of Taurus for this week. A couple more shuffles, Taurus, and here we go. Here we go. Nine of Swords. You're struggling with something, Taurus, at the moment. You're in your head about something through sleepless nights. You feel kind of tied to something mentally. You see how the wrists are tied together? This is the Morgan Greer deck. In the Rider weight deck, it's a woman with her head in her hands in bed. But this, this to me is... You feel tied into something and you would like to break free. Mental stress. You're trying to bake these mental bonds. Let's see where this goes. This I feel is in the past. And with it being a nine, it is subsiding. Mm. The page of cups. The person you're dealing with is going to communicate with you. This could be you to them. This is a general reading and it can work vice versa. The energies can go either to you or from you. And it could be you, I feel, stressing whether to make this love offer. Pages is only what I call the seeds. Uh, a bit like the aces. It's a small offer. It's not a full-blown expression of feeling, but it's it's a little, could be in the form of a little gift or a, a comment, a compliment. And it could be you or them, whoever it is, they're stressing. See, look at the worried look on the face. <clears throat> and... They're not sure of the reaction. Not sure of the reaction. There's been no contact here for a while. Not of any significance. And I feel also that you're stressing because you're hoping and wanting. Excuse me, my nose always itches when I read. You're kind of waiting for this offer. You sort of feel you know it's coming, yeah. Yeah, it's been stressing you out, you see. You've been waiting. You see how the ivy's grown? Signifying waiting. You're waiting for this cup to be offered. There is love here, but it's not fulfilment. And of course, it's causing you some heartache. Waiting is one of, in today's world, for me, I feel that waiting is one of the hardest things to do in today's society because we, all, we're, we live in a world where we want everything instantly. Even bosses at work, they want everything done yesterday. Where's my report? Why haven't you done this? Etc, etc. This, this society we live in. And... We all feel that we want everything just like that. We ask for it and it's there. Life doesn't work like that. It's there to teach us a lesson. This is karma at work, teaching patience. And I'm not judging you, Taurus. I'm just reading the cards, but this, this is all about a life lesson. And not ever, anything worth wait, waiting for. Anything worth having, you have to wait until you're ready emotionally or until the universe deems us fit to receive this. And as I was dealing, this card popped up and it's the page of <coughs> wands or the page of rods. And 
This is good news coming in. It's a message. And this page here, I feel it's a message and it's going to bring you a lot of relief when it comes. It's good news. It's, and it's it will send you down a new path. It's it's a good reading. This your patience will pay off. Yeah. Yeah. The, it'll heal things. Page of Pentacles. You see how she's holding him. His bandaged edge. This is you. This is them coming in, or vice versa. And there will be healing taking place. In the past, you've broken away from each other. And you're waiting for them to come back. Or they're waiting for you to come back. This Three of Swords is also a separation card. That's what's telling me you're not together. And it's... This is working out. This will work out. The universe is saying, enough. It's time we got these, these two together again. Whoa. Excuse me. One card dropped. It is the Eight of Swords. You see, they're afraid of how you're reacting. See, in the past as well, they've, they've fed you breadcrumbs. I'm going to put those two cards back. But there's some fear here on reaction. I'm just going to pull one more card. Yep. Four of Swords. Yep. Let's bury the hatchet. Let's have some peace. Let's heal this situation. And the bottom of the deck is the star card. This is all about hope, recovery, renewal, healing. But as I said, the stars at the top, to me, represent divine timing. The patience, the universe has put this on delay on purpose. There's a life lesson gone on here. And it's people have evolved. You've both evolved, you see, the hangman. You're both seeing it in a different perspective now. On that note, I wish you the very best and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.